morning, everybody. Good morning, grandmas. Today, um, I actually paid off my student loans. Yeah! I just thought you guys were filming the uh, student loan video. I think that would have already come out at this point, so uh, anyone that hasn't seen it, I'll put a link to it. And if you have seen it, thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Well, we just became a debt-free family. Um, so all of these, these are from student loans videos past. I have like all of this scrap stuff. I uh, don't know if I will uh, keep it, probably throw it away, because I am no longer a student loan owner. Uh, but I wanted to show everyone where we stayed last night. We are at a, uh, what? Holiday Inn Express. Holiday Inn Express, flat screen TV. Um, we are in Orem, Utah, which is like right outside of Provo, which is right so outside of Salt Lake. I've never been up here, so why not? Yesterday, if you didn't see, we went to the Bryce Canyon, which is kind of funny because right here in our hotel room, there's a picture and we now know that ex exactly is Bryce Canyon. We saw this yesterday, which is crazy. We're getting ready to go. It's about noon. We're gonna be going thrifting in Provo, Salt Lake area. And yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. I haven't made a video highlighting this beautiful machine right here, but this is a 2016 MacBook Pro. I got a smoking deal on it. It has the uh, touch bar. It's like the newest style, not the newest model, 2018 is the newest model, but it's like the newest style generation of laptop. It is a massive, powerful machine, and it's going to be an upgrade from my 2013 MacBook Pro that I brought with me to Japan. Uh, now you made me this. I wish I could put this over here, but I think as soon as I take it off, the sticky will uh, come off. But this is my 2013 massive uh, power machine of a MacBook Pro, which is still an amazing computer. It does have the SD card slot on the side, or 256 gig hard drive on this, 500 gig hard drive on that, both, 12, uh, both 16 gigs of RAM, better display, better processor, uh, better ports because I got USBs and stuff on this. This is the main complaint of this computer is that it just has USB-C ports, which is kind of a pain. It was still a good upgrade. My mom's gonna be getting this laptop sometime when I go back to Florida and uh, this will be my new power machine. Mormon country. Uh, leaving Holiday and we're gonna go to our first stop, which I don't even know what it is. Might be a Target, might be a thrift store, might be, I don't know, might be something else. All right, first stop was down the street. We're going to an easy pawn. Now that I'm debt free, I actually feel a lot better, less guilty like buying computers or cameras or anything. So that's what I'm kind of looking for right now is a new camera or pretty much anything I can make some money on. I've never seen such a like pack, such a pack pawn shop. So I've never heard of this camera before. It's an EOS. M10. Right there. And if, there you go. Cool. So we just got iPod, and keyboard, and a mouse. I put the other stuff back. Thank you. Yeah, of course. This place was full of electronics. There's so many electronics here. It's crazy. So we spent about a hundred. Gonna make about a hundred. And those are pretty fast-selling items. So I'm okay with that. And that pawn shop. There's a Cash America right across the street. That's where we're gonna go right now. And this one's closed on Sundays. It's a Mormon holiday, so we're not gonna go to this one. All right, onward to the next shop. We're going to Nordstrom Rack. I think it's over here. These are really pretty mountains here in Utah. There's like some really beautiful mountains. And it just looks clean, doesn't it? Yeah. You, don't you get like, the, the, the roads feel really wide and it just seems very clean. I get a clean feeling from it. Going into Nordstrom Rack. What are you looking for here? Gifts for people in Dubai? Gifts for yourself? I like looking at the bags in here. That's my favorite thing to do. Let's see what we can find. And the bag section here is absolutely terrible. Terrible, terrible. The best brand that they have is in case. That is really bad. Or Vince Camuto, whatever that is. No good. Found some better bags. Here's a Persimmon. Persimmon? New York. It's uh, leather was 1400 now it's 350 bucks. It's a really nice leather bag. Never heard of the brand though. Right over here we have a Tumi. Just a normal nylon-ish backpack. What is it? $204, originally 295. Some other nice leather goods here. A little bit better of a bag section. Into the shoes section. Did you know Birkenstocks makes uh, high top men's boots? Because I did not. These are $120, uh, originally 210 it says. Did not even know those existed. Uh, I do like checking the, some of the clearance for maybe Red Wings or something, but doesn't look like anything here. North Face is totally trying to be Patagonia here. 
and here. This vest, 60 bucks. No go at the Nordstrom Rack, onward. I'm trying to meet up with somebody to offer up for an iPhone X right now. For a really good price, probably the cheapest in the world. So here's the life hack. Whenever you're going to an ATM and the person's in the passenger seat, you drive into the ATM backwards and they can use it just like that rather than it being awkward over here. So you're supposed to go in this way, we went in that way. Cash, got the cash. How much we got, 360? So we got about a 30 minute drive into Salt Lake where we're meeting somebody at I think a bakery to pick up the iPhone X. Racing there right now to get it. Maybe we found the cheapest iPhone X in the world. All right, so we're meeting the guy here. Um, he says the phone needs to be reset, so I'm gonna try to reset it with my iTunes and see what happens. You always meet in a public place, right? Uh, Eric. Yeah. yeah, sorry, not to. Uh, no, you're totally fine. Like, totally I fine. totally got screwed last time I bought a van. Yeah, you're totally fine. So now I'm like totally afraid. I'm like hyper cautious. So my in laws are big Apple people. Gotcha. But I don't talk to my in laws at all. Okay. I mean, we're, we don't get along at all, and my wife and I are going through a split up or whatever. So they thought they were doing me a favor, I and mean, they really weren't. Gotcha. Alright, plug this in. So you used it at one point and just stopped my using mom, it? She bought it for me, my wife used it, and then I didn't use it. I never used it. I'm an Android fan. So. I think it sucks driving out because you're just. No There's nothing. You're just. <laughs> it's driving. We can't get it unless he wants to sell it for like 100 bucks. Hello. That's all I could get into it for with Hi. the problems at a time. So there's so he put it on the computer and what is this? Say? Apple ID and password. Okay, it's asking for Apple ID and password. And how, you know what I mean? I could be able to get a hold of to get that. So it's really it's so it's basically Apple, but it'd be Apple. Locker. It's like it's the most the government can't even break this. It says the iPhone was lost and erased. Enter the Apple ID yeah. and password that were used to set this it's up. The iCloud lock. No good. So it's locked. It's all good. Whatever. It's better than like wasting my time too. So, hundred bucks. It's got a good screen a good, on it. Good conversation for ten yeah. minutes. <laughs> that works. Okay. I really do hope it's. No, I hope it's not your wife's stolen phone, but. <laughs> no, she's uh. If, if for some reason she gives you the iCloud information, let me know and... Yeah, I have your uh, information on there and I will do that. I will work on that. I mean, if she gives you the... If she gives me the info and is nice to me, I yeah. might even have my brother call her because he might be able to get it from her. And if it all works out, I'll give you a call. We got a $100 iPhone that's iCloud locked. So it's like a donor screen. I'm probably going to sell it on eBay for like 300 bucks for parts. But didn't waste my time because we'll still make like $200. There's a good chance that guy was probably a tweaker, but we're gonna get some lunch. Um, get some Vietnamese bien hoa pho at the new Vietnamese noodle house. This is like a little Vietnamese plaza. There's a nail shop, a video store, a Vietnamese supermarket down there, and we're gonna get some pho. It smells good. Oh, so good. So we don't have pho in Paige, so. Vietnamese food. Happy girl. Very happy. Very blurry, very happy. Here's the aftermath. Oh. How much was it? Oh, it was only $20. Not bad. Ch cheaper than the T-bone steak. Oh. And I was messing with this while we were eating. Making sure. Uh, checking it out. It actually still has Apple Care on it until November. Vietnamese restaurant was over there. Pawn shop right here. We're gonna check it out, see if we can find anything. All right, nothing in there. We're gonna head to Savers, which is like literally across the street, see if we can find anything in there. Going into Savers, see what we can find. Where are the Tronics? We need to find the Tronics. Tronics are there. Yeah, okay, like this. The silver PS2, it's 15 bucks, but it's missing power supply. So we're not gonna get it. Kind of a pain. Cap is actually pretty popular right now. Um, this is an older one. It's got the logo there, logo there, and what do they want? Eight bucks, we will pass. Kind of scratched up on the back, but not finding much of anything. Tronics was a bust. This is Grizzlies. 
Uh, it's like a windbreaker pullover, it's, but they want $11 for it. That's, I don't know what this is. RS Taichi. It's got a gore, gore something on it. It's got a Japanese flag. It's $9.99 and it's a onesie. What is it? I don't know. All right, I don't think there's anything here. We are going to leave literally like a five minute drop in. Going to, an, probably gonna go to a pawn shop. I don't have my phone on me, but I think I'm gonna pop on this. It's brand new, $12.99. probably grab that. So this was actually behind the case. Ugh. Got it for $12.99 and the last one, brand new sold for 70 shipped, I think, which is okay. Last pawn shop. Rachel's checked out. She's actually going to sleep. I'm gonna check out this pawn shop. I got like 15 minutes before it closes. No good. All right, nothing in there but crying babies and bad deals, so. Rachel should be in the van sleeping, I think. She's taking the bed for a spin. We're gonna stop by T-Mobile and get me a T-Mobile SIM card. Added to the family plan. I'm getting a little bit of charge on my phone because my phone's dead. So we just got out of T-Mobile. I am now T-Mobilized on my phone. Uh, there's a lot of pink in there, it's a very pink store. It's like six o'clock or 5.30, we're leaving Salt Lake, driving back to Arizona. Well, I feel like I got scammed, but I also didn't get scammed, I don't know, it's a weird feeling. But thanks everybody for hanging out with us today. It was fun, if you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up, and if you have any encouraging comments, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Have a good rest of your day, bye how to be, or what to expect, or what is expected. It is very positive to elevate and celebrate the qualities of men or women, but not at the cost of the health of the other, children.